Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm your host, uh, Big, Big, Big Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Buzz, Buzz, and my co host, Alfred Scoop! And I'm for scoop, and you stumbled upon the run to the stairs, ladies and gentlemen. Alaska edition part two, the unmasking series. Oh yeah! Season finale. Oh. Pretty project. Oh. Introducing. Oh. Twelve strings. Oh. Oh, nice one, Alfred. Yeah, rest in peace. Ah, Fat man scoop. Man. Got a fun video for you guys today. Lots of plants to see. Along with some B-side footage acquired while we were hanging out with Dan with the gun. gun, gun. Oh, yeah. So he just always has a gun, huh? Listen, my man showers with that thing on in case the water touches him inappropriately. You know what I'm talking about? Who hurt you, Dan? Who hurt you? Now, to start this video, I do have to take you on a little bit of a narrative tour. As Alfred so lovely put it, our breeding project is complete. Our own genetics! Yay! That's right, and we bring in 12 new strands to the table for your viewing pleasure. Read my lips! No more free promotion! Now what plants we decided to cross and why is the subject of this video. It hasn't been an easy road. And to paint the perfect picture for y'all, we have to go back. Back into time! To almost a year ago when we first attempted to do this. When I lived with my ex-girlfriend back in New Jersey, yeah. The plan back then was still the same. That was to cross my prized pheno of Orangello, pictured here seated from my last attempt, to some of the most interesting strains I've come across. This probably won't surprise any of the people that have been watching this channel for a while, but we've ran over a hundred different cultivars here. Damn! I know. But to continue the lore of the channel and to finish setting up the story, the very next video after that was me chopping everything down, Damn! as I was abruptly dumped and had to move out of what I had known as my home for the last seven years. Boo! Boo! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. L listen, she did me a favor, dog. She, she did me a favor, dog. Bro, I deserve better, bro. And I ain't even know it. Like, when you're in it, you don't even understand it, bro. And she did me the favor of ending it for us. Thank you. Free at last, free at last, free at last. Alfred, relax, Alfred. Relax. I have a dream. Anyway, I had to live with my mom for a little bit. <laughs> But my cousin, who's been a long time watcher of the show, and actually my very first Patreon on here, yeah, that's right, saw the situation and invited me to come live in Alaska with him and continue my plan just as I had before. So that's exactly what I did. This brings us right back to today, where one year later, exactly, can't even make this stuff up, we got seeds. Oh, yeah, baby! The death feels so much better than the bottle! It's a fact, Alfred. It's a fact. No, daddy. Now, who's gonna get these seeds? I will be talking about that in this video. But first, let me show you the plants that we decided to cross. The pollen donor for all of these crosses is gonna be a reverse version of my orangella. And that is the plant you've been observing on screen. The seeds for this were originally sent to me by fellow YouTuber Northwest J. Grow, grow, grow. And was bred by Prism Lab. Now, what do I mean when I say I reversed the orangella? Well, in the cannabis world, the plants that we smoke are the females. Male plants are often discarded unless you're a breeder. Because instead of the nugs we like to smoke, they produce pollen. Man, what the f*** is that? Right? That's a fully reversed female orangello plant that's now producing pollen. Let me compare that to the nug structure of one that wasn't reversed and just grown for consumption. She pretty! With some size to boot out. <laughs> With some size to boot so, because we only grow females over here, That's racist. and this is specifically the plant that I want to breed with, there's a method where you could take this female plant and make it a hermaphrodite, causing it to produce pollen instead of the nug. And that is what you're observing on screen right now. We accomplish this by using SDS spray when we flip this to flower. And because of that, any female plant that this plant pollinates will now yield us what are called feminized seeds. Had I bred a male and a female together, the seeds that come out of that would have a 50-50 chance of being either sex but because these are all female in reality then all the seeds that come out of this should be only female we'll see we'll see what it's science it is alfred it is. i just didn't want to get ahead of myself now before we move on to the plants that we'll be breeding with this one let me show you why this plant is special enough to take it out on a date look at it look i at remember it. that yeah you know I'm, I'm old school i like to wine and dine before i hit you know what i'm talking about the jello is a mix of the larry og with the iso A. the pros for me are its color the way it stacks and the size of the nun. Number one for this has to be the smell and the taste. Straight up tangerine. Almost fake, that's how good it is. On the con side, while the nugs are pretty big, they're not very dense. The plant tends to stay a little too squat for my taste. So hopefully we can add a little height. And I would love to add more trichome development on there. I want more shine. You know what I'm talking about? You need that glow up. And she gonna get it. And now that you got that information, moving on. When the night has gone. Hey, you wanna see it that far? 
By the way, when I cut down all my plants back in New Jersey, I did have to dispose of everything. I couldn't bring no weed plants to my mom's house. She a Jehovah Witness. Mommy, don't play that! Facts, facts. So at that time, I did lose all of my clones, along with the seeds that I had been working on. But it just so happened that earlier that year, I had sent some clones, my Orangello and the Cairo, to J Dirt Exotic, who then returned both of those cultivars to me once I moved to Alaska, along with some of his own special stuff. That's a real one! Facts, facts. Now, the first cross we're gonna be talking about is the Orangello mixed with Grandpa's Cookies, R2V1 from Ethos. That is the plant that you're currently looking at. Pretty complete plant. You got a nice bag of peel shine, the size, and the nose, man. Smells like sandalwood. That's the one that we've been making fun of. Not much on the con side. So, what could the Orangello add to this? Perhaps a little bit more color, a little bit more size. And what could this add to the Orangello? Maybe a little bit of frost. Now, so far, I've shown you a full version of the Orangello plant as well as the Grandpa's Cookie. But along with that, I will be showing you these small plants, which are the versions of the plants that have been seeded. The setup for this included the Orangello, which again was the pollen donor, and a 2x3 tent, along with the 12 small little plants that we're looking to get pollinated. Now in this channel, we normally cut down most of our plants between 8 to 10 weeks of flower, but to ensure that the seeds in these plants were mature and viable, we let this setup run for about 13, 14 weeks. I don't even, it was a long time. Bro, bro this is a long time. You realize we still in plant number one? Hey, 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 look, we got this, man. We just setting up the whole thing. It's gotta be right, Alfred. It gotta be right. Anyway, we use that very same tent to dry our plants, provided by our sponsors, by the farmer. Bro, Discount code Alfred. Just save you a little bit of money should you be interested in any of the equipment I use to run these plants. If you wanna save money with a discount, if you wanna save oh, money, make oh. noise. Yeah, yeah. Before we move on to the next plant, I do want to talk about some of the things I learned. This is important. I tried to dry these plants the same as I would plants that I would consume. Because I figured once I took out the seeds, I'd still be able to roll up what's left and smoke it up. You know what I'm talking about. But bro, let me tell you that that's a mistake. Taking out the seeds out of a nug that isn't all the way dry, man, it's a problem. Now, though. you just saw how small these plants are. And to these seeds, that first plant at this wetness level took me damn near two hours. So that's a fact. That's worse than trimming, man. And you add to that, you have to decide. Destroy the nugs so much to get them out and rub the plant material so much that all the trichomes probably knock out You probably end up with garbage at the end So I abandoned that method and opted to take a few more days off to wait for these plants to properly dry Make my job a little bit easier in that time. I, I just lived dog. I, I lived to Okay, Alfred. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. You're welcome. Anyway, once I did that, it became a little bit easier to DC these nuts. DC these nuts. It came more of a process of rubbing everything together. And then the hard part after that was just trying to get the seeds out of that rub. For your information, averaged about 400 seeds per plant. Real quick before we move on to the next plant that we're doing. You remember that cousin that I moved in with? The one that saved me from my mom's shelter. I told you in that July 4th video that this dude's definition of safety is a little skewed. So last week, I caught him doing this and I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Oh hell no! Nah. Cuz I hope you understand there's nothing I could do if that moves a tax, right? Just come around here, eat up all my greens, and then just bounce. Don't say hello or nothing. Got your little baby over here, big mama back there. I mean I ain't saying I won't try, but what like I'm just gonna be like, hey! Hey, move! Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it! Right? Now I could just go, hey Dan with the gun, are you available? Come defend your territory! Like I could do that, but by that time, like come on. It's, it's too late, cuz. Why, cuz? Why? Speaking of Dan with the gun, can we go back to the shot of the year, dog? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, man, someone needs to make this a poster or a shirt or something. Like, you just gotta say, like, Alaska. Someone do that for me, dog. So we move on, on to the second mix out of 12. I, hey, hey. Number two, <laughs> Listen, we're gonna move quick for the rest of it. I just needed to set everything up. This is the frozen bag from Robin Hood. Pictured here in the second time we ran it, two different seats. And it's all about the frost for this one. For the pros, like I said, bag appeal, the shine. Of it. Imagine oh! this shine, but now superimpose it onto oh! the orange channel right here on the screen and think about it. That 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 if it works out like that, if it works out like that, the cons will be the yield, the node spacing, and a little bit of the nose. It doesn't have a bad nose, it's just not a strong. But then a hint in the background is what I get. Just gonna ignore me, huh? Shut up, Alfred. The other negative is, is the last time we ran it, it hermed out on us. Bad boy. So now what you're watching on screen, the one that got seeded is actually a brand new seed that I'm running. Also, not sure if you been noticing in these videos when I'm showing the smaller plants that have been seeded you can actually see the seeds popping out of some of those galaxies
which is how I determined when it was the right time to cut. If I still saw too much green seeds popping out, I knew it wasn't ready. Just kept observing and gave it a few more weeks till those green seeds turn brown and look at this. Oh! oh stop Transition it. King, baby, listen! Sorry. Cinematography of the year, You're like dog. a long eye! I need that title. I need that right now. By the way, in regards to the seeds, on the comments and in my inbox, I started to see a trend that I need to stop right here. And this is you guys asking me for free shit. Don't do that, dog. If you're really a fan and you've seen how long it's taking me to get here with all the setbacks I'd had, you wouldn't be asking me for no free shit, dog. You should want me to win. Let me put it a different way. If you want anything that I've earned through hard work, you're either gonna have to work for it just like I did, or you're gonna have to pay me for Let it. Let me add to that that I've been giving you these videos for years for free. This is my whole life right here for the past few years. You wanna take something else? from me fuck you suck a dick okay. we move on <laughs> fucking leech hey i'm your biggest fan hook it up motherfucker did you miss the part where i'm 43 living in my cousin's room pc 21 fucking <laughs> savage bros the structure the density and the frost now i am talking about the first time we ran it we ran this two different times once organically and synthetically something happened to this plant during the synthetic run you could go check that out just this season so the yield and the size wasn't a good representation of what this plant's done for us in the past the notes on this isn't horrible it's just not very strong has kind of a skunky aroma to it on screen you are observing the seeded version of this this plant has a lot of similarities to the flying hawaiian which we also crossed and are going to be talking about further up in this video i'm hoping some of the density and frost of this plant transfers over to the orangello or that some of the notes of the orangello transfers to the structure of this plant. back to some of that footage we recorded while hanging out with dan with the gun now i want you to check out this vast land of beauty because i need you to understand that alaska has some of the most beautiful sights i've ever seen bro this right here is behind people's houses dog. there was literally two kids toddlers almost little, little babies dog right in a around in this sea of danger because everything's there bro you could drown anywhere over here you don't know if you're stepping on mud water or land you don't know they riding around with bicycles no parental supervision imagine that Matthew, lady Matthew, lady Matthew. lady matthew's 20 miles down that way lady 20 miles let's move on to mix number four of 12 and this is the cairo from belief this is actually one of the reasons why we even started this project to begin with a couple of years back we planted two different seeds of this cultivar this is the winner out of those two some of the pros for this plant should be obvious when you look at the screen but it's just a beautiful plant love the structure density frost and color of it on the con side however we got a very muted no the overall size of the nugs although very dense not very big that's what she's Shut up, Alfred. No spacing sometimes could be also a little too wide for me. On screen, you got the comparisons of these nuts. When we ran this plant synthetically and organically, and... Hello? Hello, are we speaking to the person that just smacked Alfred? Yeah, yeah, who's this? Yeah, hi, we're from the law offices of Jacoby and Meyer. That's right, take him away! Alfred, you serious? Sir, 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 can we speak to the victim, please? Ma'am, I am the ma victim. Are you okay, ma 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 Dude, fuck that. You're not gonna get away with this. I... Stop being dramatic, Alfred. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. Seated version on screen for your viewing pleasure. So I'm either hoping to inject some of the size and smell of the Orangello to the Cairo. Or transfer some of the structure and frost of the Cairo to the Orangello. We'll see what happens. More views of Alaska. This place right here, Dan told me. His family and him used to go to it and have barbecues. And I imagine if you lived in Alaska, a lot of your childhood is probably filled with postcard-like memories all over the place as we move on <laughs> to the chimera junkie from hyrule genetics second time running it for this channel one time we ran it organic one time synthetic this is our fifth cross of the day some of the positives of this are the strength of the smoke i do feel like this gets me pretty high as well as the frost and color when you grind this one up reminds me a little bit of the chiro on how purple it looks that bright purple though you know kind of like lavender the cons of this are the size the structure and the yield when we ran this synthetically last season we commented on how hard it was to trim this plant because of the small nugs and the spiral shape it had on screen is the seated version of this plant for your viewing pleasure and what a beauty she turned out to be. now i'm seriously only hoping to get some of this frost ah! i know i know into the orangello on the reverse side i wouldn't mind more size and more taste to be imparted into the chimera junk the nose of it isn't bad but it's kind of faint and trending towards that candy scene. Ah! 
Yeah. Where I'd rather have that fruit sweetness on my plants. Now where is this? Oh yeah, yeah, just more footage from the Dan trip. Dan took you everywhere. He did, he did. You know, Dan knows all the spots. Dan should be like a toy guy or something. Thing is, he'll show me this spot and then two seconds later he'll say, I banged a girl there. Like, hey, everywhere we go, they get around. <laughs> <Dan> is, <laughs> he was just, round and round, round and go. <laughs> so we move on <laughs> to mix number six of 12. And this is the Blue Dream. And this comes to us from I Love Growing Marijuana. And I do. Now, we have ran this plant in the channel before, but it was a different seed. I'm not even going to attempt to find that flashback, but it is in the channel if you want to scour through it. Blue Dreams is one of the strains that was pretty popular when I was growing up. Back in the 50s! Come on, Alfred. There's a little spot in my heart for it. Now, finding a good version of the Blue Dream has been hard, but I'm hoping this seed is it. This could be it as we move on! <laughs> to mix number 7 of 12, and this is the Flying Hawaiian number 1. Sent to me also by J Dirt Exotics, along with my Cairo and my Orangello. This is the plant that earlier on in the video I told you resembled the PC-21. Because of that, it has some of the same features. For the pros, I like the structure and the frost it is, which is even stronger than on the PC-21. On the con side, I put nose there with a little asterisk because it has a nice nose. That look crazy! It does, right? Yeah, by the way, if you want to see more of this, check out the pre Previous video. I display all the nugs for the plants we ran last season. The seeded version of this plant for your viewing pleasure. Back to the nose. It has a good nose, just more trending towards that skunkiness. And I'm talking about me and what I like. I'd rather that fruity side. So if I could mix some of that tangerine from the orangello into this plant, that'd be clutch. On the reverse, if I could bring some of the structure, some of that shine into the orangello, that'd also be pretty clutch. You know what I'm talking about? Now, if you've been following this season's growth, you'd remember that a few videos back I mentioned how JD had lost his cut of this plant and wanted me to preserve it for him. Now I forgot, I totally just forgot all about so it. So I thought it was a done deal, man. I thought I had just failed JD, but given that I had this one seated, I'm like, let me try to re-veg it. And I left the tiniest of branches. Just Listen! Branch. Listen, the tiniest! You can't help now is that gonna work? I don't know, but man, we getting so good at this. We keep bringing plants back from the dead. Look at that, look at that beauty. We brought that back, both of them from the dead, bro. So I'll let you, I'll let you guys know how this works out. If it works out in a future episode. As we move on <laughs> to a random waterfall. <laughs> yeah, listen, listen. Then bang someone under it. By the way, it's 17 minutes into the video. Don't do it, don't no, no, do no, it. I'm just reminding them, have you hit the like button? Have I entertained you enough yet? See the amount of work that goes into I'm sure you can see. We're doing good. Let's just keep going. No, no, you you're not the type to hit like on things you like. Oh, okay. That's Leave it. Charlie alone. Bet you you're the same person that asks for free seeds too, right? Cause that, Cause that kinda goes with the way with your leech like behavior, you piece of shit. As we move on! To the Sunset Mac from Capulator. Man, been a while since we ran any Capulator strain. We ran this one all the way back in season six. The claim going around for this particular cultivar was 35% THC or something crazy. Like. Back then, I wasn't too impressed with this cultivar because it was very leafy and the nose didn't leave too much to be desired. However, it did have some positives such as the size and the way that it stacked up. I obviously didn't keep that plant, but I do have more seeds of it. So I figured I'd pop a new one in and see what came out of it. On screen, is the version that we use to make seeds for your viewing pleasure pros out of this one is the size as you can see the way that this whole thing stacked all together and the nose while the previous version of this that we ran didn't have a nose this one for sure has that menthol eucalyptus type of thing going and it's pretty strong not only that but it is frostier than the previous version that we ran would love it if the orangello got some of that stacking from here and some of that frost but the more exciting part is to have those two noses collide and see what comes out of it as we move on <laughs> to mix number 9 of 12 And this is the Black Lick From Hawaiian Heirloom Genetics Oh yeah Ran two different versions of this plant Or three to be honest Can't quite remember It's been a while And in all versions The color and the denseness of it Is where it's at And I'd say this is pretty similar to the Cairo And that as far as beauty is concerned It has it all But when it came to that nose man It's also very much me. The two versions that I ran in this particular season Both had a lot of color to it With one trending more towards that red
red reminded me exactly of the trap cherry and the second pheno being more purple and that is the version that you're observing on screen right now try to do a little bonsai thing didn't really work out but it looks nice it looks nice though let's pop over to the seated version now this is a new seat as well now this right here is trending more towards that purple pheno than the red one we spoke about the pros on this of course would be the color the density and the beauty of the band. and the negative of course would be the nose like we spoke about also it doesn't really stack that well i'm hoping to bring some of that nose and taste from the orangello to this plant or some of the density and frost that this plant has to the orangello we'll see how that turns out yeah 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 by the way, I just came back from having a drink with uh, with Dan with the gun. I, I took a little break in between the video. He hollers at me through the window. You know, he's my neighbor. He goes, Cuckoo! Oh, stop it! <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I go, Ooh, ooh! And, and he's like, Bring a glass of ice! <laughs> and that's kind of how that goes. Moving on! <laughs> Your own children! Don't, don't hate Alfred. Don't You're hate. 43 years old! I'm a baby, bro. I'm a, I, I took care of the child in me. You know what I'm talking about? Cross number 10 of 12, the blue haze from I Love Growing Marijuana. I still do, do, do. With the orange jello. Never ran this before. Got nothing to say. I just wanted to do 12 plants. I'm beyond. Moving on to mix 11 of 12. Oh, this one's called the Fat Bottom, and it was sent to me by green thumb over at discord on screen some of the information she sent to me about this cross apparently this was a commission cross where she requested the queen s1 to be mixed with the g licious both from Capricat genetics which we haven't ran in this channel up to this point on screen what you are observing is the seated version of this plant mix of course with the orangello she got them lines. She do, she do, Alfred, and because of that, the negatives of this are the stacking and the structure, while the pros of this are the smell. Got that same eucalyptus menthol type of smell that we just went over with the Sunset Mac. So let's see what comes out of that as we move on to our final plant before I let you guys know who's getting these seeds, and that is the Firewater Cross with Face on Fire from my people over there at Wicked Genetics, oh yeah. While we have ran other Wicked Genetics in the past, this particular cultivar has only been ran once in this channel when we first moved to Alaska on season 10. Some of the pros that this plant boasts are the structures, the density, and the height of the plant. Now normally when you're growing indoors, you don't want the plants to be too tall. However, since my orange jello is always so squat, I see use for that height in this mix. As you can see, this thing is also beautiful in the jar. Now as far as the cons, I would go with size. Even though it is very dense nugs, they are very small and don't stack that well. See the version of this plant on screen for your viewing pleasure. Add to that, I didn't get a strong nose off of it. And that's something else that I wanted to bring up to you guys. All of these plants smell like weed. When I say muted nose, what I mean is I can't find any other smell to identify outside of that. So don't feel bad when you run a whole bunch of plants and be like, man, I don't smell no apples. Because as we mentioned earlier in this video, I've been hunting for years. And a very special nose is going to take you some time to find. How I propose for you to ask, Alfred, as we have finished the 12 plants that we were talking about and harvested all the seeds that we produced for this run, I feel it is appropriate for me to use this batch of seeds to thank the people that have supported me on Patreon while there was no incentive to do so. Uh oh, I was gonna join, but you know what happened was... Shut the fuck up. Shut the, and don't even join now, because if you join now, you're not getting these seeds. I mean, you could join now because you want to support me, because you like the work that I'm doing, but you're not getting these seeds, 100%. Legitimately, for the people that did the right thing. I've been showing y'all my situation the whole way through. You just sat there and watched. These people did something about it. And that's what I want to compensate. I appreciate y'all. Now, after I take care of those people that took care of me, whatever's left, I might sell. $10 per seed. Oh, that's too high. That's too high? $20 a seed. Fuck you. Hit me on the email, it's in the description, bitch. <laughs> the top feels so, so much, much better. better! Yeah, it do, man, it do. Woo. Listen, what I've worked for, you can't take from me. Now I'm pointing at the screen, but I don't mean you, Greedy, who just joined Patreon, yeah! Also joining the Wall of Fame, Donald Glover, yeah! Now let me ask you this, are you the artist? Because if so, this is America. <laughs> By the way, everyone that I am adding on the wall right now, is gonna get free seed because obviously you joined before I said it. So I also want to welcome to the Wall of Fame, Dan with the gun. Oh yeah! Listen, I got the neighbors joining. That's dope. I also making it just in time. Can it be? Oh, oh, what up, homie? Doing a little bit of promotion here, and I ain't mad at you. Second chance genetics. What up, homie? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> now to cap off the hundred that I said I was gonna add to this wall of fame. After that, you're gonna just see your name scrolling by. I went through my cash app, which I had mentioned a couple of times, and grabbed some names off of that to add to the list to also get some free C O. Yeah. <laughs> All of y'all gonna get it. You get a free pack. You get a free pack. You get a free pack. See me there, I'm confused. Because some of these names, I'm like, man, I want to make sure I'm not writing something twice. You know what I'm talking about? And that does it, man. This season, we're going to test the strains and Fino Hunt. From there, choose the best stuff that we got. And make an actual line to then release to the general pub. For the unmasking. Oh, Next man. video, dog. Tune in. I'm Patreons, more information about the seeds and everything like that on the platform itself. Or you can reach me through email. You know the deal. Right here in the description. Appreciate y'all, man. Thanks for spending your time with us. If you have 100 likes on the comments. Again, if you like the if video, you, you know what to do. The the comments, comments. All that stuff. Take out right now.